Now, I want to update you on one more recent case. Last Saturday, we took you inside the investigation of the murder of little Jean Benet Ramsey. And since then, there have been new developments that could help us solve this bizarre case. Let's look at the latest. Boulder police brought a van full of evidence and spent two days at the FBI headquarters in Quantico, Virginia. They were there to review the material with criminal profile experts, hoping a fresh eye would provide new leads in the death of Jean Benet Ramsey. Meanwhile, they released a copy of the infamous two and a half page ransom note Mrs. Ramsey found the day after Christmas. Experts say the note shows a cover up on different levels. There is a disguise there. There was an attempt to disguise the handwriting but as the letter went on, the person was losing this disguise. Notice the shakiness in the word that in the first paragraph. Then see the difference in the same word near the end of the note. Now look at how some of the words are spelled. Difficult words are spelled perfectly. Adequate, attaché, countermeasures. Yet the writer misspells simple words like business and possession. That sort of behavior to me is indication of trying to dumb down the letter to make the letter writer this this offender look dumber than perhaps he actually is look again do you recognize this handwriting notice how the t is tucked under the adjacent letter and how the capital d has an overhang the letters neat and orderly experts are hoping the release of the note could help crack the case joining us now is someone i've known and respected for years former fbi profiler john douglas a real pioneer in the science john thanks for being with us thank you jim let's get right to the note a lot of people believe it was written by what do you think we can't make that determination unfortunately some of the uh, top experts who i contacted said they cannot determine whether or not it was authored by either a male or a female Whoever wrote the note, what can you tell us about that person? The, I believe first the, uh, the note was uh, written beforehand. The person definitely has intelligence information about the, uh, the Ramses. The person is above average in intelligence, uh, planned the crime beforehand, uh, has been in the house before, has intimate knowledge about the, the household. And uh, so therefore, we're not looking for a stranger. Well, it's widely known that the Ramses hired you as an expert to help them find Jean Bonnet's killer. You've been inside this investigation from the beginning. What's your thoughts? Is, have the Ramseys something to do with it, or is it somebody else? John, I was tough on the Ramseys, uh, uh, particularly uh, John Ramsey. At one point, I said, John, I said, if you did it, I said, you're one great liar, because I've interviewed some great liars in my life. And uh, I don't believe they did it. Uh, the note, uh, in fact, to me, reinforces that. There's too much minutia in it, too, much, too many details that's unnecessary in a ransom note. Uh, so they did not do it. That's a, a valuable opinion, because I know you've broken some tough, tough cases. Now, if you want to take a closer look at the ransom note, you can find the entire document on the America's Most Wanted website at www.amw.com. John, thanks very much for being here. This is a horrible crime, and I, I hope that uh, little Jean Bonnet gets justice. Thank you. Now, there's a family who desperately needs your help to find their daughter, so please pay close attention to this alert. 18-year-old Jessica Kane, an aspiring actress, has been missing since August 17th. Police say she was last seen on the side of I-45 South, about three miles from Galveston, Texas. For some reason, she was walking towards a red hardtop Isuzu Amigo parked behind her. Jessica was last seen wearing brown pants and a black top. If you have any information about Jessica's disappearance, call us now. Up next, when the owner of a Florida bar...